What's going on? How are you guys? Welcome back to Best Burger Reviews, where we rate the best burger at a particular establishment. Today we are at Royale Burgers Beer and Bourbon, which is on Avenue C and East 10th Street. So I guess this is technically the East Village, and I do not have high hopes for any of my cameraman's choices. Rio, what's the highest score we got today? It was uh, Sin City Burger, right? 7-6. That's not great. That's not great, Rio. I'm not too impressed. Not too impressed. So you got a burger there. You know, it, it's kind of like a divey bar. You know, I wouldn't call it an ice bar. Oh, they don't all look like that. <laughs> they look pretty bad, though. Ugh. Look, I, I can smell the burnt fryer oil. And they're soggy. I'm not eating these fries. I'm not eating these fries. Not eating the fries. Is this place known for the burger reel? That's a first. Yes. The pickles, the pickles, not actually on the burger. It's on the wrapper. Is this thing gonna fucking hit me in the head? What is this? Okay. So we got a nicely charred bun, some fresh-looking lettuce. They, all right, so they sliced the tomato really thin, and they sliced the onion really thin. So in, in this case, where they actually put effort into the vegetables on the burger, I'm going to eat the vegetables. You know, it's like you're good, above-average dive bar burger. The bun's fresh, it's moist. I like the onions, the tomato, the lettuce, the vegetables don't overpower the burger. They cooked it rare. The cooking temperature's really nice. But like the quality of the meat and cheese just, it's not that high. So, six to eight, 6.8. Honestly, it's a pretty good burger. So, Royale East Village, not the worst place to get something to eat, you know? It's actually pretty good. You know, so we'll try it without the veg. The it's pretty good. They got a lot of really nice caramelized flavor on that bun and patty. I think 6-8 is a fair score. I think you guys would like this burger a lot if you got it. So, Royale, not a bad place to stop by. I just, I just don't like going that much higher with the... Even though they got a lot of nice caramelization on it and some good flavor... The quality of the meat and the cheese, it's just, it's not that great. You don't really taste the cheese. The meat isn't that flavorful, but if you do want some high quality meat, we can go to frankiestrangemeat.com, try our custom best burger blend, as well as a variety of high quality cheeses to pair with your burger. Frankie Strange Meat, guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you for the next review. Well, that's not good. You're really uh, making me lose it. 